G'day everybody, I'm Jake from Make Science Fun. This is Sam, my little helper. And today we're going to make a marshmallow cannon. Almost like a bazooka. It is so simple. All you need is a... Vacuum cleaner. You need a vacuum cleaner. Need some... Pipes. Pipes, yep. Need some... Uh, plastic. Plastic. And some... Tape. Duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> but not that type of duct tape. Not that type of duct tape? No. Okay, D-U-C-T, duct yeah. tape, yep. Yeah. And some... Scissors. A saw. saw. Um, a a drill. Drill with a hole saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and maybe even a rasp or something like that. Okay. So, 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 so simple. First thing... The pipe that you get has to be pretty close to the diameter of the vacuum cleaner end. So we can pop that on, just like that, Sam. And how about you hold that there, and I will tape it on with the duct tape. So around we go. Here we go. Excellent. Now, that won't leak in the air now. And what you can see is I've got a shape like that. Now, that shape is the same shape as the pipe. Now you can get that using a circular rasp by just going raspy, 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 raspy like that. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not that difficult to get that round shape in the end of your pipe. Then, your other pipe, you've got to put a hole in it. Now, you could actually get away with actually using a T-piece, um, a plastic T-piece, but I didn't have one, so I just like drilled a hole in it with my hole saw, like that. So that was actually pretty easy. And now that will go, that hole will go at the top of that pipe there like so. So Sam, hmm? you need to hold this in place for me. I might bring it around this way. Ooh. There we go, around once. My duct tape. There we go. It's probably going to be a bit easier to hold now, isn't it, Sam? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's terrific. That's not going to come off, is it? No. Now, here's my marshmallow. Now, my pipe, my pipe's a bit too big. The diameter's a bit too big for the marshmallow. And so I've got a smaller tube that will go in here like this. See, it'll just slide in like that. And look. And the marshmallow fits there a lot better, doesn't it, yeah, Sam? Yeah, it's in the cannon. It's in the cannon. And we can make it look a bit like a bazooka because <laughs> it will pull that back. <laughs> yeah. Now, we're almost there, but not quite. We need to add one more thing. Yeah, and then we're done. And that is a little tiny trap door here, a little tiny trap door. So the trap door I've just cut from a piece of firm plastic. Careful not to cut my fingers. And are we ready Sam? Snip. Put this over my piece of my little plastic trap door. And I want my trap door to come in from the bottom like this. There we go. So have a look at that. See that? There's a little trap door, just like that. And guess what? This is ready to fire. Yeah. How about we take it outside and see how far this vacuum cleaner yeah. can fit the Marshmallow. Yeah, okay. and we get Mickey. Let's go out. Oh! Okay, come inside and I'll show you the science behind this vacuum cleaner marshmallow cannon.
So how does a vacuum cleaner that sucks air actually shoot something forward? Let me show you. Here's the pipe, and this is the vacuum cleaner attachment, and it draws the air this way, okay? So the air gets drawn down that way. Now that would mean that air could come in the front or the back, but we actually want the air to come in from the back here, and so we put a flap here, this is that piece of plastic here, and what that means is that all the air now comes in through the end of this tube here. And so that is rushing through, and you put your marshmallow here. This air traveling this way causes the marshmallow to accelerate in this direction. And it's going really, really fast. Now, of course the air goes around the corner, but the marshmallow is going so fast and it's traveling in a straight line, it will only veer off just a little bit towards that pipe. And so it will actually keep traveling and it will hit that flap and then poof, shoot through that flap. And then once the marshmallow is punched through, the flap goes up and then the air will keep traveling up the pipe like that. So it's pretty exciting how it works. You should definitely give it a go yourself. I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. And thanks for joining me today. <laughs> okay, bye for now.